Kate Mechanic by Coulter Wall is going to be played um, technically it's just in standard tuning. You don't need to retune your guitar to play this. My guitar is in a half step down tuning and I'm capoed on the first fret which puts it into standard tuning. Coulter Wall has a tendency to play his or to have his guitar in a dropped tuning, either half step down or full step down, and then uh, occasionally he will capo at a point that actually puts him in standard tuning. The album version of this song is in standard tuning. I've seen live versions of this song where he would be the equivalent of capoed on the first fret, which would just put him one step higher or one half step higher than um, standard tuning. But all that to say, if you're wanting to play along with this lesson, and with the album version, you don't need to retune your guitar, but if you tune your guitar down a half step in capo first fret, or if you even tune your guitar down a full step and then capo second fret to get back into standard tuning, that retuning of your guitar adds a little bit of slackness to your strings that lends itself to the sound that Coulter Wall is getting out of his guitar. So, preface done. Let's start with the chords. Um, it's going to be coming out of A minor shape formation. I'm going to be speaking from this point forward as though the capo is the nut and refer to frets like 1, 2, 3, and 4 as opposed to their actual fret numbers 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, so the A minor chord, you'll have an open 5 string, 2nd finger on the 4 string 2 fret, ring finger on the 3 string 2 fret, 1st finger on the 2 string 1 fret, and you'll be uh, finger picking this. You'll be using your thumb to basically move the bass notes in most of these chords, and it's going to be a 2 beat bass feel. Uh, in the A minor chord, it would be the open 5 string and the open 6 string. And you'll achieve that with the pluck down of the thumb and then a down up flick of your fingers so thumb down up and then thumb on the E down up A down up E down up uh, inside of this A chord in the intro you can hear him lift his first finger up off of the second string and then hammer it back down to the, first, uh, to the second string first fret so that's something that you can play around with. Um, but then after one round of the A minor, A to E, A to E, it then, it then comes to a G chord. And the way that he goes to the G chord almost every time is to slide into that G chord by going ring finger to the sixth string two fret and then slide up to ring finger three fret. And by the time that you slide your ring finger up, you want for your pinky finger ready to go down on the one string three fret. And I usually just let my ring finger mute out the five string. There might be times where you want to put your second finger down on the five string two fret, but either way, it's fine for this uh, G chord to just let the five string be muted. And you'll be going six string, four string for your two beat bass. And then it comes back up to the A minor chord. And the first time, hear a little walk up of open 6th string, 6th string, 3rd fret, which I'm playing with my pinky, but Coulterwald tends to play that with his ring finger breaking out of the A minor shape. I like to just keep the A minor shape and do the movements with my pinky if I can. But in the A minor, open 6th string, 6th string, 3rd fret, and then back into the A minor. Sometimes it's a straight walk of uh, open three five string sometimes it's a hammer on to the three string like so open six hammer three open five as opposed to so you can play around with that all right so we're still kind of in the intro here and it's just going to migrate between those chords even whenever the lyrics start migrating between the a minor and the G chord back to the A minor and in live versions he'll do embellishments of lifting that first finger off of the second string and hammering it back down sometimes he might lift his ring finger off the third string and hammer it or second finger off the fourth string and hammer it um, but the first big break from our A minor to G chord round that happens is going to walk up to a C chord so out of the A minor we would hit the open 5 string, move with our 2nd finger to the 5 string 2 fret, and 
then I go into a four fingered C chord. That would be ring finger on the sixth string, three fret, pinky finger on the five string, three fret, second finger on the four string, two fret, open three string, first finger on the two string, one fret, open one string. And I am going to be going thumb on the five, then the six, and five, and six with my thumb, down, up, thumb, down, up, thumb, down, up, the down, up being the flick of my fingers. Uh, one point about the C chord is that Coulter Wall is actually playing it as a three-fingered C chord, and he is moving that bass note by literally picking up his ring finger and moving his ring finger between the five-string three-fret and the six-string three-fret. So you can do that uh, that way if you want to. In this C chord, you can hear uh, in the second round of the C chord, it just kind of hangs on the C chord. You can hear Coulter Wall pick up his second finger off of the four string and let that four string get some ring time and then flicks and hammers back down with his second finger to the four string second fret. And then it's going to walk back down to the A minor by basically hammering onto the five string with your uh, five string second fret with your second finger out of the C. So that was our C hammer on. And then that's our walk back down into the A minor. It comes back up to the G and then the A minor. left something out here. What have I left out? I've left out... Okay, so I completely left out two chords here. The first time that it goes to the C, let's kind of just back up and pretend like I didn't just mention that hammer on in the C chord. So the first time that it walks up to the C chord, it will go C with the five string, six string, and then it goes to a D minor. So that will be second finger moving to the three string second fret, pinky finger moving to the two string three fret, and first finger moving to the one string one fret. You'll be alternating between the open four string and the open five string here. So the C chord to the D minor chord, down to the G chord, back to the C chord. And in this C chord is where I was talking about it lift your second finger open and expose the four string and then hammer back down into the four string second fret with your second finger and then it walks down to the A minor and then comes back up into the G and then you get another little riff that happens inside of that G of so the way that you will do that in that G is whenever it first pulls up into the G, you then immediately go with your second finger to the five string two fret, hit that, and then pull off to five string open, and then go back to your six string three fret, and then hit the open five string again so that, you, so that you've got, and then it walks back up to the G by open six, six string two fret, six string three fret, and then you repeat that little pull off pull off 5 string 2 fret to open to the 6 string 3 fret to the A, and then it walks back. And it's happening a lot more in a strummy feel, coming out of an A minor chord. So if you can imagine doing that while trying to keep tempo of down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. So it's kind of difficult to keep the rhythm going there without it just becoming individual pluck notes, but that's the way that Coulter Wall is playing it with keeping his rhythm going on his right hand. Another point of this is that sometimes in this walk up, instead of it just being a straight walk up, it's instead a hammer on walk up like. So the straight would be, the hammer on would be.
and then we get another round of the verse, another round of the chorus, and after the uh, second go round, we get another lick that happens in this G. So it, uh, the verse just stops on the G, and there's a break, and then we hear. That's similar to the riff that we just played in the first G round, but here it's going to be different because it goes open six string to open three string, and then the open five string brings us into the A minor chord, but then you're going to go 5 string 3 fret, uh, hit that and kind of pull the note, and then pull off to 5 string open. I'm using my pinky finger here, Coulter Wall tends to still use his ring finger. Then so after the pull off of the 3 string, uh, of the 5 string 3 fret to 5 string open, it goes back to the 6 string 3 fret and back to the five string open. So walk up, pull off five string three fret, go back to this, uh, six string three fret, and then five string open, and then we're going to repeat the first G riff of. So in this second period of G, and this is where you know the song really ramps up, the first round includes the C, the second round does not include the C. So again, very slowly, the first round would be... The second round would be... And then it goes back to the first round. And then the second round. holds on that A minor and then then just back into the round of A minor to the G A minor and you get the feel of that so um, pretty simple chords uh, a lot of nuanced stuff that is happening in it though so those are the chords and the movements to Kate McKinnon by Coulter Wall hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song